Mihiro and I are walking to school. We haven't said a word to each other since we left the house. The trip is as quiet as a graveyard for some reason. By the way, Tor is staying home, citing lack of sleep, leaving me fresh out of lifeboats. S so it seems like you were up all night last night. How did your studies go? I don't know how to react if you just blush like that. Oh, good for you. She panics and looks away. She dropped the conversation and won't meet my eye. How do I even communicate like this? She's staring at me. She's totally staring at me. She should really just tell me what's on her mind. Well, what's up? Do I have something on my face? Mihiro panics and looks away again. But the second I take my eyes off her... Yep, she's still staring at me. I can feel it. It's a repeat of what just happened. Huh? Seriously? Where? Wow. I feel a light bump on my back. It looks like she tripped. Mihiro's small frame allows me to stop her easily. M Mihiro, are you alright? The weight disappears from my back. I turn around to see Mihiro trailing about three steps behind me. Why are you so far away? Yes, I know that. Why would you trip on purpose? <laughs> Mihiro panics. It's my first time seeing her so flustered and flushed. Uh, okay. Why are you behind me, though? So you're going to watch over me like a good wife? <laughs> Mihiro's face grows even redder, and I swear I heard a puff of steam as it did. She stops moving. Oh, did she not get my cheesy joke? <laughs> Hello, Mihiro. <laughs> Mihiro is totally frozen in place. Oh boy, what do I do now? Mihiro, wake up! Don't fall asleep in the middle of the road! We are really going to be late! Mihiro! It takes a bit of time, but Mihiro returns to her senses. We manage to avoid being late, though we engage in some vigorous morning exercise in order to make it. What is going on with her? Mihiro walks into my classroom soon after lunch begins. She's been acting funny all morning, so I don't know what to expect. What's up? Iwakuma-sensei stops Saru's complaint dead in its tracks. Wait. When did she get here? Huh? Nope, don't drag me into your crazy woes. Sarukawa, Omaiwa Gakshokno Bachan no Tezukuri o Kutter Daroga. Sono Yume, Mo Kanai Makterzo. Onna no Kodat Terdeshoga. Saskani Sokoma should be high in Hirok de Descara. Tuck. いい<笑> 
Iwakuma-sensei drags Saru into the hallway. Don't mind Saru. So, what's this about lunch? Really? How'd you do that? Good old Mihiro. She can cook up anything with what we have in our refrigerator. I'm nowhere near her level of expertise. I've got a lot to learn. I was going to buy some bread, but that's out the window. Let's do it. Mihiro and I make our way to the top of the school. It might be due to the heat of the coming summer, but we are the only ones here. I don't mind. I'm too hungry to care. I've always been a boy. What do you think I am? She lays out a small handkerchief on top of the bench we are going to sit on. She pays a lot of attention to small things like this. It makes her very feminine. A bit? It's more like a lot. I said I was hungry, but it's going to be tough eating all of this by myself. Yeah, thanks. Now, where do I? What are you doing? Miro cut a piece of an omelette and is now looking at me with expectant eyes. She blushes slightly, carefully moving her hand in front of my face. Hi. Uh... I've heard about this before. It's common sense, really. I've actually been in this position before, in my manga anyway. Well, what are you doing? Yeah, I don't get it. It all began this morning with her climbing into my bed, and then it continued with the awkward walk to school. And now here she is, telling me to say, ah. Hmm. I eat the omelette in front of my eyes. Nom nom. Delicious. Hmm. Hmm. It's great. Huh, I don't think I've seen her react this way before. She's asked for my opinion of her cooking before and there were times where she would feed me as a joke. But I don't think I've ever seen her smile like this. What? Why? That's a rule? Who would come up with such a law? I guess I'll have to comply in that case. That's a stupid rule. Seriously, Mihiro, just... She looks like a baby bird waiting to be fed. Fine, I'll humor her just this once. Seriously, okay, here goes. This is actually kind of embarrassing now that I think about it. I'm glad to hear that. All right, let's eat. When are we stopping? I don't know if she means physically or emotionally. If I had to guess, we are probably keeping this up until she's full. Uh, why? She totally did it on purpose. There was no trace of shame in her voice. You're really enjoying yourself. Good for you. 
男の子の憧れシチュエーション第3位らしいんですけど。I don't hate it. Wait, third place? Where to read that? それはどうでもいいじゃないですか。Hmm? Well, whatever. I'm sure Mihiro is just saying that. I shouldn't think too hard. それより早く食べましょう。冷めちゃいますよ。It's already cold to begin with. あっとそうでした。冷静なツッコミありがとうございます。You're welcome. It's the least I can do. ではでは、気を取り直して。はい。うーんです。Not backing down, I see. 恥ずかしがってる先輩を見るのが気持ちいいです。快感です。When did you become such a sadist? 先輩限定のパシブスキルみたいですね。That is a terrible passive ability. I want something better. 先輩、食べる時間なくなっちゃいますよ。早く。F、fine, fine. Here.、Uh... はい、結構です。行きますよ。Nom nom. Hmm, wonderful. Even cold, this food still tastes amazing. Mihiro really is talented. Zidan Soden! Hasha! She shoves food right into my mouth. I haven't finished chewing the last one. Don't do it, Kimasho! Sorry, sorry! Fuko! Koreta no see this! Senpai, I have to be the other day! She keeps shoveling omelette down my gullet. The eggy assault creates chaos in my mouth. Fugo, Fumu! Nani o itiru ka wakarimase yo! Hora hora, endo se zuni, dozo dozo! Nga! The omelette assault continues. Let me enjoy my food! Ah! Got so samarista! I ate too much. I couldn't bring myself to leave any leftovers, so I finished the entire lunchbox. I'm impressed with myself. Miro eats more compared to Toa, but by herself it's not that much. We couldn't really split the lunchbox in half, so I ended up eating most of it. Of course, it was delicious. Thanks for making it. Mihiro smiles satisfied. Still, I can't shake off that weird wipe. Mihiro, what's up with you today? No, something must be going on. The Mihiro I know, she's more. How do I put it? She readily betrays my expectations, in a good way, of course. Ah! I spot some grains of rice on her cheek. Oh, Mihiro, you're such a kid when it comes to this. The older brother and me can't let this slide. Mihiro, stay still. I pick the grains off her cheek and throw it in my mouth. The big brother's skill set I got from taking care of Toa is pretty good. You can be quite the handful, you know. Uh, Mihiro? She's burning red. Seeing her so embarrassed makes me feel kind of bad. Mihiro puts the lunchbox away with record speed and sprints downstairs. What was that about? Sometimes she would be really happy and excited, other times she would quietly stare, and now she's all stiff and nervous. She's been acting weird lately, but it's much stranger today. I'll talk to her about it later. I don't see Mihiro for the rest of the afternoon. A day passes, and I haven't had the chance to ask her about what happened. Questions about Mihiro fill my head. It's Thursday, July 8th. Ne, ne, Narumi, ano uwasa kita? Soon after I enter the classroom, class rep springs on me. Rumor? Which one? Haunted. <laughs> you mean ghosts and stuff? I don't believe in anything I haven't seen or heard of for myself. I reply, my composure steady. 
I'm just a realist about these things. It's not like I'm scared or anything. Right. Well, even if those things exist, I'm sure they're all fake. They've made great progress in CGI lately. The main reason why ghost photos and videos died out all at once is thanks to the proliferation of digital media. Three cheers for civilization. Besides, why do ghosts have to be emaciated and hateful anyway? Who came up with that idea? You can have a fat ghost who's jovial and cracks jokes, can't you? Because it doesn't have to be. There's no reason to be afraid. Maybe spirits just want to get along with the living. Though I would probably piss myself if I ever saw a real ghost. What I'm saying is there's a lot more to be afraid of in the real world. Like deadlines, for example. Also, deadlines. Have I mentioned deadlines? Just thinking about them makes me feel ill. Alright, shoot. A romantic comedy and ghost stories go quite well together. It's a popular genre among students right now. If nothing else, I can write a chapter about it. That's it? I was preparing myself for something scary too. It's kind of a letdown. It's probably just a teacher making the rounds or something. It sounds like they are parting. They come from a different culture compared to the Japanese, and they must remember that in the afterlife. Okay, give it your best shot. Who is going to check? I mean, the ghost doesn't even know if it's right or wrong. She sighs and slumps in disappointment, leaving the classroom. I was worried those stories were going to be legit, but it sounds like they were made up. Narumi, hello. Hey, morning, Masato. She was saying something about ghosts. Yure? Ah, sono hanashka. Hm, you've heard it? Hoka goni derute was ano. Hikaru hitokage no hanashidaro. Hm, I guess a lot of students have seen it then. Rashizo. Ore wa mita koto naiketo na. Who told you that story? Joshi ga uwasa banashi shiteru tokoro ni maki komareta. Must be nice being good looking. You get to be up to date on all the latest news. So you're a realist. Right. What's up with you, Saru? You're in a good mood. <laughs> it's probably nothing important. I begin to sort through the details of the ghost story in my head. But no matter how hard I try, I can't seem to come up with any good ideas around it for my story. Well, I guess it's just one of those ghost stories every school has. 
Someone probably made up the rumor for kicks. Nothing to worry about.